Hi there, I'm Darrell Williams from Fandangle Productions. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a Python GUI graphical user base using WX Python widgets and a program called BOA Constructor. I've been learning how to use BOA Constructor for five years now. I'm still learning. Uh, there's not much information on the internet so it was a matter of searching uh, searching so much so many websites and deciphering messages or comments and experimenting that I've worked out how to use BOA Constructor so it's been five years now that I've used it it's a very good program uh, so I want to pass on the knowledge that I have so that you too can make your own graphical user interfaces. Okay, to start, we are going to create a frame. The way we do that is we click File, New, and click Frame. So here is the code that's automatically generated that will create a frame. We have here a button that's called Frame Designer. When you click that, you get to see the frame. Uh, has a frame name or title called frame 1 this is the inspector that has all the settings relating to the frame uh, the widget that is active at the moment it's the frame so these are all the settings for the frame and these are the main settings that you'll be learning how to use so the file or should I say the class I'll close this this is the class it's frame 1 Okay, remember that, frame one. And there it is there. That is the name of the class, frame one. So we'll delete the one, so it's called frame. And we'll just click over here on the title. Uh, what we're doing is we're creating a frame. Uh, you'll eventually have uh, menu. Uh, menus on on the frame you'll have a toolbar a status bar and a panel so that will be a template you might create another frame that just has a panel a menu and a status bar or it'll be a menu a panel no status bar no toolbar so once you create those varieties or variations then you have a template for uh, building future applications so you don't have to keep creating the frame part of the application so what we'll do is we'll change the title and we'll call the title my first application okay it hasn't updated uh, these are text boxes they will not update until you click another text box so I'll click up here and keep an eye on the title there we go it's updated my first application the position of the widget or the frame when you move this around you can see that the position number changes also I like my frames when I first designed them to be 400 pixels wide by 300 pixels high make sure it's within the curved brackets and there's a comma after the first number which is the width and the height okay now to update these settings we click the tick button which will update the code and if you notice here we have the position number right X and Y we have the size of the frame 400 by 300 we have the title of the frame so now we want to save the code that's been generated okay so I'll just move that up here we want to take the one out so it's the same name as the class the class is frame and we saved it as frame not frame one okay so now that we've saved it let's run it this yellow play button like on a media player will run the application so we'll run it okay so all these windows closed and then they popped up again 
and it didn't show the frame. Reason is, is we need a main loop code to show the frame. The way we do that is we can click, click edit, go to add module runner, and here we have the main loop that will show the frame. So we'll save that and then we'll run it. Voila! Here is the frame. Now a lot of programs have their own icons that represent their programs. So we have just a generic icon here. So we're now going to put our own icon in there, in the frame. So we click the frame designer, so the frame appears. Whatever widget you're using on, be it a frame, a panel, a text control, whatever widget is activated, it will then, uh, the inspector will then display the settings for that widget. So here we have, we know it's the frame. Don't change any settings until you make sure you are editing the right widget. Otherwise you'll have problems, obviously. So we want to put an icon on the uh, our first application. So we go to properties, go down here, notice this icon. I've clicked that. There's a browse button, so we click that. Now in the folder that we've saved, my first application, there's an icon waiting to be installed. And there we are. We now have the icon. Now that we've added the icon, we want to update the code so that that icon will be included. So click the tick box. You have two. You've got one here, one here. Sometimes this tick box doesn't, isn't active or enabled. So you go over to this side and click this. Now if you have a look here, we have this code set icon for the frame. So it's added that code, we save the code, we run the application or the frame, and there we go. Our frame, 400 by 300, is positioned roughly in, uh, roughly in the centre of the page. We have a title, my first application, and we've added an icon. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment on what you thought of the video or if you have any questions that you would like me to answer, please leave those comments on this YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Darrell Williams from Fandangle Productions. Thank you for viewing this video. Goodbye.